My name is Dr. Crystal Blaylock. I teach business management courses and the bulk of the courses that I teach are surrounded by business ethics, leadership, and different management skills and how students can become entrepreneurs. The only time I can pretty much tell is when the subject matter has to do with leadership and a lot of the students, they give examples from a very general standpoint as far as their work experience and some students with limited work experience. But my veterans tend to have a more authoritarian type of example and then that's the way I zoom in and kind of figure out, yes, they may be a veteran. I see maturity as far as following directions and the syllabus is key in a college setting to make sure that you follow a timeline, a deadline, and the requirements of the course. And I do see that a lot of veteran students, they do like the structure of knowing when something is due and how long they have to get it done and what resources are available to them. So I do see that as a difference. I've noticed that when it comes to group projects and mingling with other students, sometimes that can become challenging because it's not so much of a structure, it's more of having the opportunity opportunity to work with different personalities. So I have made it a point to speak to veteran students before or after class or one-on-one. -on -one. As a Green Zone member, I've learned to use some of those skills and attributes to have those one-on-one -on -one conversations with veterans, and they do like the one-on-one -on -one attention. The first thing I do with uh, military students is I ask them, why are you here? Because I've found that a lot of veteran students, they want to use their benefits to go to college and get their degree, but not necessarily have a plan afterwards. So I like to structure one year, five year, and 10 year plans with them to make sure they're in the right program and then also come up with a plan of action for them. Pay attention to all of your students and when you can tell that a student, especially one who has a military background, if they're uncomfortable with certain subject matter within the classroom or they may be falling behind, take the time to actually meet with them and offer advice and perhaps Structure your teaching method that is conducive to what their needs are. It might be additional advisement, it might be extended deadline, or just to explain the material in a different way. You can't put any one veteran or military experience in a box. Everyone is different. I have some students who are very outspoken and engaging, and I have some that are very reserved and introverted. So I've learned that it's just that one-on-one -on -one communication is key for their academic success and then my success as an instructor. I think it's an excellent program for faculty and staff to become more cognizant of the needs of our veteran and active military students. I think that with the skills that we get as far as being empathetic, learning to listen, learning to engage our veterans and our active uh, military students gives us a better view of how to teach them maybe a little bit differently or be sensitive to their needs.